Hey guys, it is day number 68 of 90 and a little bit rainy out. There's sun. Actually, ooh, cool. Rainbow. I just saw that. You can tell these are unscripted, but hey, I'm Alan Thomas and I have uh, Rethink Dining for Men, which is part of Transform My Future. And it's where um, I really help men overcome the pounds that hold them back from living the kind of future that they're destined to live. Uh, specifically obese men, because in 2017, at the age of 55, I reached 304 pounds, 304. I was a big boy, and um, and it wasn't for lack of trying. Uh, I tried to lose weight. <laughs> Golly, on you name the diet, I won't you know shame any diet, because uh, but uh, you know over and over and over again, I tried different diets and exercise plans. I tried one, I tried the next, I tried the next. I tried personal trainers. I tried you know the stuff that you get from the doctor's office, the pills, the potions, the the different things, and nothing ever worked. And you know, I really just got to the point I was hopeless. And but I really but I also got to where I was used to it too. I mean, being 285, 295 at 5'11", sure, it's embarrassing. It, you know, morbid obesity, you know, you knew that, you know, that it was, it wasn't good for you, but it just, I just didn't know what to do. And, but when I stood on that scale at 304 pounds and I realized that I was very likely uh, to not be alive in less than 10 years. I, I said all the time I'd be known as my wife's first husband. And I mean, you know, I'd be the guy that died uh, because I was I was in the life insurance business for, you know, over a decade and I'd sat in literally thousands of homes and I, I focused on the senior market people over the age of 65 and and I never met a man that was 65 with over, that was over 100 pounds overweight. And, in fact, I could think of maybe one guy that was, you know, over 100 pounds overweight at 65, and I mean at age 60 rather. And so I, I just felt like I had probably one year, three years, five years, ten years max to live. And you know, at 55, it sounds old if you're 35, but if you're 55, it sounds really young. You're like, I don't want to die. I don't want my wife and kids to be, you know, to, to have somebody else in their life after I've been dead to put them through that. Sure, I had a, you know, I had a boatload of life insurance, but really, I, you know, I wasn't an ATM. I was, I was their dad. I mean, they were, you know, they, they needed to look to me to lead and to, to be there for them. And my wife and I have been married for 31 years. And, you know, just, I mean, I couldn't imagine you know, what I would be doing to them because of my lack of ability to be able to stick to anything. And so, you know, it was, it was a powerful moment. I mean, it wasn't a moment that was scripted. It was something that happened. And for you, for you guys that, um, you know, have watched me enough, I, I have the original picture of that 304 pound scale because I happen to have a cell phone near me and I just snapped a picture of it. It was odd at the time to do that. I snapped a picture of that three or four said I said I've got to do something about this and long story short I mean um, you know I committed publicly to losing 200 to losing 129 pounds in 260 days uh, or 265 days but reached it in 260 days and I just had to rethink the whole process you know it always been like golly it was like pushing a boulder up a hill or riding it. You know, I ride my bike in the morning. We don't have a lot of hills and on Amelia Island. Fernandina Beach is pretty, pretty flat, but there's a few spots that have some, some hills. And you go up on a hill and, you know, if you could imagine maybe being on a real mountain and just riding around the mountain and around the mountain, always at an incline, always at a steep incline, with never any hope of it ending in just around and around and around. That's what that, that cycle of being on diets and exercise plans was like for me. And I, I talk to men all the time. You know, it's when a guy gets on the phone with me, it's because he's obese. That's why people get on the phone with me. And, and they're, you know, it's so often I hear them, I said, what have you tried? And they've tried everything. I mean, I hear that all the time. They've tried, they list, you know, dozens. They said that too many to count everything, you know, just, but but they but they never can figure it out and they're hoping for some solution that you know exists in a diet and I, I just tell people it's if it was the diet okay now do you have to change what you eat of course you do and I say this every night 
Of course you do. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dietitian, nutritionist, or physical fitness expert. But my God, be be smart. You got to change what you eat. You've got to change how you move. I mean, that's that's common sense. But is that the the ninety percent of the equation? Think about it. If that was all it took, don't you already know what to do? I mean, think about it just for a minute. I mean, doesn't that really kind of make sense? But what I say is that the $72 billion industry, you know, diet industry that is flourishing will continue to flourish as long as people believe that's the solution. Is it part of the solution? Absolutely. But it's like I say all the time, it's like, it'd be like going into one of these big, big box stores where you buy building materials and say, show me the house, that the housing materials that build themselves. And they're going to look at you like you're nuts because you've got to, you know, the diet is simply the tool. The diet's the tool. That's it. Do you have to have one? Yep. Do you have to stick to it? Yes. But the how to, how do you do that? And, and that was my, that was my challenge. You know, I had, I was so desperate because the embarrassment that I, that I lived with day in and day out, always afraid that I'd run into a friend that I hadn't seen in years or, you know, dealing with the shame of people talking about how fat I was, you know, maybe in a joke. And I would joke about it. I mean, I would, I would tell jokes and I had all kind of little anecdotal things that I, is how I coped with that. But deep inside, you know, at 3 a.m. in the morning, I was waking up wondering if I was going to be alive. I was wondering if I was going to be alive. I was wondering if I was going to have a heart attack and be, you know, or a stroke and be paralyzed on the side of my face. I was wondering if I was going to get type 2 diabetes and and have complications like I've seen people have and lose body parts. And I was wondering if, you know, if, if I was so fat that my wife would just give up on me and find somebody else. And I know that's, you know, that sounds sounds really awful to even say that, but you know, what kind of what kind of guy lets their their family just, you know, you guys gotta live with it because I can't stick to anything. I mean that's what it was like for me. And that's what it's like for a lot of men that I talk to, for really every one of them. You know, and because I get on the phone with guys who've got who are either on their way to be morbidly obese or they're already there. One of the two. And but what's so cool and I get the experience of this, and I get, and I talk about it, I get God bumps, because it's when people, when guys tell me, oh my gosh, I get it now, I get it, and they, they understand the process that I take them through in my program, and, and it all of a sudden works. If they, when they lean into it, they're like, oh my gosh, I can do it. It's like, and then the bicycle that you've been riding around and around the mountain, all of a sudden hits the top of the hill and it starts to go this way and it starts to go down is it easy no it's not always easy is it perfect no but but when but it's like that bicycle shifting into another gear and going down a hill and I remember what it was like for me when I suddenly got that power to overcome the the you know the cravings and the the food and suddenly got the desire to exercise and then things started changing in my life that had nothing to do with my weight but they had everything to do with my weight because when you have that attention when you have something that is so dominant in your mind every single day, the fear and the worry and the, the, the feeling the, of hopelessness that, that being morbidly obese gives you when, you, can when you can shed that and start to get momentum, it's just amazing what happens. It really is. And I, I say this because I've experienced it and I'm watching other men experience it. When, when all of a sudden you don't have that clouding your brain every day that you can't do it you cannot do it you're gonna try but you're doing it and you're and you're turning it around all of a sudden other things start to turn around and life starts this clouds kind of part in a rainbow still a rainbow over there it's pretty cool and i'm unscripted i'm not gonna turn around because i'm not a good camera person i have to put it right here so i know what what we're all of a sudden the, the clouds part and in you And while it's, and you realize how simple it was all along, and you realize how much powerful you were than you ever believed, and you realize what, how much potential there was underneath those pounds that you had, and and that you step into greatness that you, that you never knew you, you would ever see again. The kind of feeling that you had when you're, when you're 16 and you got your first car, and you're, or you're, or you, you know, 
you've won something or you competed in something and you've, you've got your power back. And so when you think that weight is just about a diet, you better rethink it. And, and it's, but there's, I just, I just want to say this, there is another side to it. And while, while what I, the men that I work with are, are extraordinary. I mean, the guys that come in my program are extraordinary. And that's what I love to see what, when they start accomplishing what they, what they always believed in their heart was possible. And now they're getting to experience it. That's fun. That's what gets me tied bumps. And so when you see that happening, you know, it's like, there's another one. We got another one back. And there's another one. Does it happen overnight? No. Can it go quicker than they ever imagined? Yes. Is it something that, you know, is magical? No. But it seems like it sometimes. You know, when, when you all of a sudden have control that you never thought you'd have again, and you've been blank saying that, you know, I'm too old to lose weight, it's all this stuff, and, and, you're, and now you're 58 like me, and I feel younger than I did at 30. I feel younger than I did at 25, really. I mean, you, you get your mojo back. And so be encouraged. I say that a lot to men, be encouraged. Don't give up. If you're stuck and you just don't know what to do, schedule a breakthrough call with me. Go to transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. If you are truly sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I mean it when I say this, you've got to be ready. Because if you're not ready, it's nobody can help you. But if you really are ready, if, you, if, you, if you're tired of wasting your time and wasting your money on things that don't work, you know, I mean, my God, how many times I tried even the same diet and it didn't work over and over. And by the way, the, the one I used to lose it's a great program, but does it, but was it the program that changed or was it me? You tell me. So, so when you, but when you get the momentum, man, it, it's priceless. So, so if, if you are really sick and tired of being sick and tired and you're, and you're stuck and you don't know what to do next, schedule a call with me, transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. It's in the notes on, on this, uh, with this video. And share this with somebody. I mean, you know, if you know a man that, that struggles, that just is almost given up, but he still has he still has a little fire left in him, but he and he knows there's a chance. But it's um it's an amazing thing to see when that man gets that turnaround, what what can happen. And I don't say this to impress you, you know, I just again I'm not a doctor of a dietitian, nutritionist, or physical fitness expert. But when I figured out really what gave me the power over over the food and what gave me the power to, to exercise. I really had to just rethink everything. And and it's fun. It's fun again. So if you're ready to have fun again, you're ready to do something special and uh, and really step into the person that you were always meant to be, reach out. Go to RethinkDieting.com. There's a free master class that you can learn some of the tips and techniques and steps that I used in my journey. And then uh, if you want to take it one step further, schedule a breakthrough session with me at transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. And we will see you tomorrow. Good night.